The Grumman F4F Wildcat. The Grumman F4F Wildcat was an American carrier-based fighter aircraft that entered service in 1940 with the United States Navy and the British Royal Navy, where it was initially known as the Mantlet. First used by the British in the North Atlantic, the Wildcat was the only effective fighter able to available for the United States Navy and Marine Corps in the early years of the Pacific Theater. Design and Development Grumman Fighter Development began with the two-seat Grumman FF Fifi biplane. The FF was the first U.S. naval fighter with a retractable landing gear. The wheels retracted into the fuselage, leaving the tires visible, flush with the sides of the fuselage. Two, two single-seat biplane designs followed, the F-2F and the F-3F which established the general fuselage outline that became the F-4F Wildcat. In 1939, the F-3F was ongoing, was undergoing test flighting. Flight tests. Grumman started, work, Grumman started working on the next biplane fighter, the G-16. At the time, the U.S. Navy favored a monoplane design, the Brewster F-2A1 Buffalo was ordered in production in early 1936. However, an order was placed, was also placed for Grumman, for Grumman's G-36, given the designation FXF4F1 as as a backup in case Brewster proved Brewster's monoplane proved unsatisfactory. It was clear to Grumman that the XF4F1 would be inferior to, inferior to Brewster's monoplane, so Grumman abandoned the XF4F1 instead of a monoplane. In, Design designing instead a new monoplane fighter, the XF4F2. The XF4F2 would retain the same fuselage mounted hand cranked main landing gear of the F3F with its with relatively narrow track. The usual manually retracted landing gear designed for all Grumman's US Navy fighters up through the F4F and as well as the Grumman J2F utility biplane was originally created in the 1920s by Leroy, Leroy Grumman and Grover Leoning. Landing accidents were caused by failure of the main gear to fully lock in place which were Distressingly uncommon. Specifications Equipped with one Pratt & Whitney R1830-76 14-cylinder air-cooled radial piston engine with 1,200 horsepower, four, six, four to six, 50 caliber, M2 Browning heavy machine guns in the wings with 450 rounds per gun, two 100 pound bombs or two 58 US gallon drop tanks, a top speed of 331 miles an hour, a range of 851 miles an hour, and a service ceiling of 39,500 feet. Famously, 
Captain Joe Foss of the United States Navy almost became a Japanese ace after crashing four F4F Wildcats. To become an ace, you need five kills. And he did become an American ace. And he was a little sad that he didn't become a Japanese one. In the end, the Grumman F4F Wildcat was a great early carrier-based fighter and one of the best carrier-based fighters of the early years of World War II. It was even used until early 1944 as the FM-1 light fighter used on escort carriers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And as always, if you need to recommend any aircraft, that you would like to see, go ahead.